Okay, hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. I have recently received many requests on making a tutorial on the project simulate and control a robot arm with MATLAB and Simulink. Uh, and my apologies to you guys because I haven't had a chance to make a tutorial for a really long time. So today is going to be the first part of this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to convert from a SOLIDWORKS assembly to a Simulink. Okay, hope you guys don't mind my 3D printer working in the background. So here I have SOLIDWORKS assembly of a robotic arm that I made. Before moving on, make sure you guys already added a coordinate system for each part. So, for example, let's go to our base. I already have a coordinate system for this one, but to add a coordinate system, we can basically click on the center point of part and choose reference and then select. Um, coordinate system. Right now we have the coordinate system right here. You can modify your axis here, but we want the Z axis always pointing toward the rotational joint. So let's click OK. So there you go. We have a coordinate system for our base. So you just click. Let's see. If change okay so do that for every joints so next step we're gonna go to tools and go to simscape multi-body link and export simscape multi-body then now it's ask you where you want to save the files so I um, just want to save the same file uh, actually, I'm going to create a new folder for this new file. Right. And I'm going to save the XML file to this folder. Now we just wait for the software to convert to MATLAB. Okay, so now we should receive a completion message. XML file has been saved. Click OK. You can see the MATLAB command window pop up. Okay, so this is where it's getting tricky. Um, assume you guys already installed SimScape multibody um, on your current MATLAB version then you guys would follow this step so first of all check what is the current version or the default version for this computer this is the 2020b version that i recently installed on this computer i know that this version didn't have the simscape multibody installed but if you already have a version that installed you would follow this step so first of all see where you add by typing cd and then change to the directory that you save the xml file so check directory again okay now type ls to see the files inside so i have the xml file starting here now next I'm gonna do sim import sim scap multibody import robot arm XML. Right. So this should work if you already have it in installed. However, for this version, I didn't have the sim scap multibody. So what I would do is I go to the MATLAB website. 
I will post the link in the description but you would go here and you go to the simscape multibody download page and then you enter your you know ID or and then click continue so after you click continue you should have this page opens for you now you can select the version for your Kun MATLAB for me I would download this this 2.5 right here but I'm not gonna do it now because I know that I already have it installed for the 2019A and I still have the 2019A version on my MATLAB so what I do is I'm just gonna close this right and I'm just gonna open my MATLAB 2019A okay right okay so I have it here but this is not the directory that I wanted so I'm gonna change the directory to this right so this this directory that I just created so now we can do the um, it should work this time because this time is the 2019 and I remember I did this for this project on this version so I'm gonna do that and just enter now you see it's creating the model that's a good sign okay right so let's open this now it's already created um, a simulating version of your robotic assembly for you so you can check that you have one two three four joints okay um, so if you click play now we'll see what happened okay so something's gonna pop up like this and see all the joints like moving crazy so let's close that for now now we want to add like slider you know to control each joint okay now to add the slider we want to double click on the empty space and search slider and select slider again double click on the slider again now we want to change the low to negative 180 and the high should be 180 so the slider will be going from negative 180 to 180 now we need to convert the, the slider to radians for the physical joints to do that double click on the empty space search for gain and then double click on gain and change this to pi over 180 this is a conversion to convert from degree to radians now connect them so now we should be able to connect this to this uh, but there's no open so we need to double click on that and select actuation now under motion instead of automatically computed you want to change this to provided by input now click apply now you should see your joints have an open uh, okay let's see if it's working now still not work um, I think this one is a physical version so we need another conversion that is from simulating to physical converter okay now let's try see if that works okay that works um, 
So, okay, now we also want to add like, you know, this is not a big problem, but it's going to give you warning if you don't have anything connected to the input of a slider. So I'm going to just put one to that. So now you want to do the same for the other joints. So let's do it quickly here. Double click on this, go to actuation, change this to provided by input. Uh, do the same for this. We have total four joints, so we need to do it four times. Okay. Now we can just easily copy this, I guess. I don't know. Yes, it works. So now connect to this. And just move it here, connect to this. Yeah, connect to this. I will try to make it nicer, but uh, it's not important now. So I'm just gonna drag it to the same line. Okay. Now uh, we can save this. Um, let's save it here. And let's, let's run it again to see. Uh, actually, let's change this into infinity. So it's going to run forever until we stop it. So let's click run to see what happened. Okay, we have some errors. Let's just say here. Okay, so to fix that problem, let's go to the join and go to actuation under torque change this to automatically computed click apply do this for every joint okay now let's try to run it again Okay, here's my simulation. Okay, here's my simulation. Um, you can change the vision here. So right now, this is 90 degree. So let's try to move it zero. The base will turn, but in this case, it's not moving. So that's another problem to fix that. Let's say stop the simulation. Okay, now we go to simulation, go to pacing option, click enable to slow down simulation. Now close it. Now you see the play button has changed. Actually, let's change this all back to zero. Um, okay. Now click play. See if that's fixed it. Okay, click this button to change the vision again. Now let's play with the base first. Okay doesn't fix oh forgot to click play all right so make sure you click play on the simulation so let's change this back to zero okay it's a little bit lagging behind uh, I don't know what is this but I don't know if this help what if I change okay it's kind of it's kind of lacking a little bit. Um, okay, let's try another slider joint. Let's move the second joint now. Okay, you see the simulation is kind of reacted to it. So this one going to negative direction. Okay, uh, it works. Let's test. 
the toss joint. Okay, that also work. How about the last joint? Okay, so we have all um, revolute joints work. Okay, so this end our tutorial for today. In the next video, I'll show you how to write a MATLAB script to create a GUI and how to do a forward kinematics for this robotic arm. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you find it helpful, please subscribe, like, and share to your friends. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment section below. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.